Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. Please stand for the Regina Chandra. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Queen of Heaven, rejoice, Alleluia. For he whom you did marry to bear, Alleluia. Has risen, as he said, Alleluia. Pray for us to God, Alleluia. Rejoice and be glad, O Virgin Mary, Alleluia. For the Lord is truly risen, Alleluia. Let us pray. O God, who give joy to the world through the resurrection of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, grant and beseech you that through the intercession of the Virgin Mary, his mother, we may obtain jo the joys of everlasting life through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Please kneel for the Oratio Imperata. God, our Father, we come to you in our name to ask your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cure for this disease and to stem its transmission. Protect the medical experts that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in this trying time to work for the good of all and to help those in need. We implore you to stop the spread of this virus and to save us from our fears. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady, help of the sick, pray for us. Saint Raphael, the Archangel, pray for us. Saint Ralph, pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Luis, pray for us. Saint Pedro Palomusod, pray for us. Saints Peter and Paul, pray for us. In the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Please be seated. Together with our personal intentions and prayers, let us include the following. With seventh day novena in honor to the feast of Saint Peregrine, Gregorian for the souls of Hermenegildo, Rufina, Pasciano, Father Anuario, Camilo, Chopilo, Zinin Senior, Mario, Bonifacio, Pablo, Basilisa, and all souls in purgatory. Gregorian for the souls of Arsenio, Socorro, Alejandro, Teodora, Adriano, Filomena, Pantelo, Clotilde, Rufino, Rufina, Loreto, Marcela, Sister Julia, and Sinforoso. Gregorian for the souls of Chofilo, Casilda, Remedios, Pablo, Juanita, Ma Maria, Jose, Rosario, Celestino, Chofilo Jr., Concepcion, and all the poor souls in Purgatory. Gregorian for the souls of Vicente, Mario, Marica, Jose, and Carmen. Gregorian for the eternal repose of the souls of Feliciano, Mercedes, and Vicente Jr. First day novena for the souls of Emeterio Sr., Emeterio Rafael Jr., Angela, Anacita, Mark, Guillermo Sr., Guillermo Jr., Michael, Gregorio, Adelina, Potenciano, Anacita, and all souls in Purgatory. First day novena for the eternal repose of the soul of Rafael Jr. First day novena for the soul of Ernesto and all souls in purgatory. Second day novena for the soul of Rosario. 
Fifth day, novena for the eternal repose of the soul of Fidel. Sixth day, novena for the souls of Patrick James. Seventh day, novena for the eternal repose of the soul of Lucita, Arnolfo, Enrico, Fidelina, Juan, Lydia, and all souls in purgatory. Eighth day, novena for the eternal repose of the soul of Lourdes. Ninth day, novena for the eternal repose of the soul of Romeo Chet. For the eternal repose of the soul of Jose Vuitton. For the death anniversary of Reverend Joaquin Resmo. For all the souls in purgatory. For the souls of Ignacio, Incumita, Walfredo, Andrea, Pablo, Lamberto, Natividad, Chodolo, Juliana, Molina, Rostico, Citas, Meter, Instituto Senior, Carmen, Instituto Junior, Illuminada, Teresita, Velma, Romeo Jet, Istanisla, Saturnina, Beatriz, Osita, Chile, Juan, Claros, Ruben, Hilario, J. Angel, Sozima, Mirna, Rodrigo, Reynaldo, Estelita, Vicente Senior, Torrevio Senior, Rosalia, Ernesto, Rolando, Danilo, Richard, Chile, Naldo, Ernesto Senior, Chofela, Marcos Senior, Marcos Junior, Isabel, Braulia, Pedro, Ramon Sr., Faustina, Clara, Fortunata, Fernando, Valentina, Catalino, Nemesha, Pablo, Rosita, Hector, Gorgonia, Federico, Lolita, Reynaldo, Darwin, Pacencia, Gaudencio, Rodolfo, Rosilier, Edna, Rea May, Virgilio, and Jacinto. Thanksgiving Mass. The Sacred Heart of Jesus and Immaculate Heart of Mary for reparation of all sins of men, for the gift of life, for the wedding anniversary, for good health and financial blessings, for the 21st birthday anniversary of Asia, for all the graces and blessings received, for the wedding anniversary of Joycelle and my Queen, for the 44th birthday anniversary of Raymante and good health of the family, for the gift of life, and for the birthday of Sister Jane Francis Aruganti, FHA, and for the 24th wedding anniversary of Richard and Romina Mendoza, good health, happy family, and all the blessings received, for the rapid recovery of Maria Luz and Anthony Gerard, all also for the safety from contamination to other siblings. In honor to God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, Senior Santo Nino, Our Lady of Fatima, Mother of Perpetual Health, Sacred Heart of Jesus, Immaculate Heart of Mary, Saints Peter and Paul, Our Lady of Health, Violent Cani, Our Lady of Miraculous Medal, our Lady of Lords, Mama Mary, Santo Padre Pio, San Isidro, Isidro Labrador, San Vicente Ferrer, Divine Mercy, Holy Cross of our Lord Jesus Christ, Saint Joseph, Our Lady of Fatima, Saint Benedict, San Roque, Holy Family, Holy Trinity, and all the saints and angels in heaven. Our offers. Christina Maglasa and children, Adelina Larizabal and children, Mida Lopresio, Esther Ablin and family, Obias children, Ears of Atenciano and Anisita Larizabal, Ears of Feliciano and Mercedes Garces, Leti Salazar and family, Brazil family, Ronda Boncalon and family, Panyo family, Sosan Shago, Dudong and Marion, Danny and Eva Tumampo and family, Concordian, Nunez, and family, Hineston family, Morelia family, Mr. and Mrs. Lo Floriza and children, Lydia de la Serna and family, Mr. and Mrs. Reina and Pipilapel and sons, Rudas and Postilio family, Costello family, Tomadas family, Mr. and Mrs. TJ Kono, Mr. and Mrs. Richard Mendoza and children, Ablen's family, Mr. Ablen and children, Angie Codilia and children, Manuel Yamigel, Pastrana and Lapno family, Dolorita and Edita Solidio, Jose Jr. and Medellin Sufficiencia, 
Clara Casas, Myra Salwagi and family, Mr. and Mrs. Norman Castillo and family, Helen Castillo and family, Emmy Cagnetti and Anonymous Donors. Thanksgiving Mass for the birthday anniversary. Atong usap yapil sa atong pag-ampu ang atong online mass intentions na dihalad nila. Mag M. Carmel Tan Suson Chamsol, Marilo Imas Manilio, Christine May Matabinta Conoy, Lani Lunga Kitanesita Pastor Reyes, Jem Gaspang, Catherine Carrick Cornito, Mady Pepito Ferolino, Maha Estrera Tukong, Romeo Leon, at Ara Sital Cordillo, Lux Fortuna, Marilo Costimilia San Gudlong, Virno Pastor Caballero, Betty Mendoza, Claudette Donay Mendoza, May Ann Batas Inero, Blanche Tabiling Menezes, Mayang Gats, Joe Anjano, Claudette Maynay Mendoza, Marimar Maripe, Milagrosa Berigo, Helen Ignacio Verona, Melodina Diaz, Melanie Magdadaro, Lourdes Sumalino, Glina Nochefranca Palomon, Jodeline International Marquez, Aracili Ikoy Subinerio, Servento Rotihel, Sarang Marihuba, Obelie Palacio Mentroso Papanas, Jarani Dapuyan Pelicher, Jolita Olok Sumano, Barbie Rica Via Miguel Guzon, Maribetti Y. Panyala, Gemma Peñaloza, Janet Chong, Jocelyn Tungos Maglasa, Meraluna Inot, Adora Barha, Cecil Larezaval, Rain Lillette, Chan Calayo Antilia, Luis Ecoliel, Lia Hortelano Ovales, Giselle Pajaron, Melinda Nasayao, Annabel Relly, and Maural Agusti. Tagang salamat. St. Joseph the Worker. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. To prepare ourselves, celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us now call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I pray to see me in my thoughts and my words. And what I have done, what I have failed to do, to my own to my call, to my most famous call. Therefore I ask Blessed Mary, our Virgin, all the ancient saints, saints, and human brothers and sisters to pray for me to the Lord our God. The Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Thank you. 
let us pray. O God, creator of all things, we lay down for the human race and long work. Basically grant that by the example of Saint Joseph and under the patronage, we may complete the works you set us to do and attain the rewards you promise. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who is in grace with you and is you the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. the book of Genesis. God said, Let us make man in our image, after our likeness. Let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, the birds of the air, and the cattle over all the wild animals, and all the creatures that crawl on the ground. God created man in his image. In the divine image, he created him. Male and female, he created them. God blessed them, saying, Be fertile and multiply. Fill the earth and subdue it. Have dominion over the fish of the sea, the birds of the air, and all the living things that move on the earth. God also said, See, I give you every seed-bearing plant all over the earth, and every tree that has seed-bearing fruit on it to be your food. And to all the animals of the land, all the birds of the air, and all the living creatures that crawl on the ground, I give all the green plants for food. And so it happened. God looked at every, everything he had made, and he found it very good. Evening came, and morning followed, the sixth day. Thus, the heavens and the earth and all their array were completed. Since on the seventh day, God was finished, and the work he had been doing, God rested on the seventh day from all the work he had undertaken. So God blessed the seventh day and made it holy, because in it he rested from all the work he had done in creation. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. Lord, give success to the work of our hands. Lord, give success to the work of our hands. Before the mountains are begotten, and the earth and the world were brought forth, from everlasting to everlasting, you are God. Lord, give success to the work of our hands. You turn men back to dust. Saying, Return, O children of men, for a thousand years in your sight are as yesterday, now that it is past, or as a watch of the night. Lord, give success to the work of our hands. Teach us to number our days aright, that we may gain wisdom of heart. Return, O Lord, how long? Have pity on your servants. Lord, give success to the work of our hands. Fill us at daybreak with your kindness, that we may shout for joy and gladness of all our days. Let your work be seen by your servants, and your glory be their children. Lord, give success to the work of our hands. the door. 
with your spirit. Reading is taken from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. The Jews quarrel about themselves, saying, How can this man give us his flesh to eat? Jesus said to them, Amen, amen, say to you, Unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you do not have life within you. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life, and I will raise him on the last day. My flesh is true food, and my blood is true drink. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood remains in me, and I in him. Just as the living Father has sent me, and I have life because of the Father, so also the one who feeds in me will have life because of me. This is the bread that came down from heaven, and that the asters of eight are still died. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. These things he said while teaching in the synagogue in Capernaum. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning, mga katawang sa Diyos, usap ay muntag sa ating puso ng mga pariyan sa altar. So, kalawag na mga panay na pwesto ng iyong pagiglang tugi, walang iya pa ng sister, ito kasi kung galing mong isip ang paham sa kinabuhi. He began this discussion yesterday, and we continue today. So, imagine lang, no? When he said, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you do not have life within you. Kaya mga mapulong ang kasyak, no? Kung kita siguro sa panahal ni Kristo, nagamatin na mga pulong ka, kasyak kaya punta. Kaya imagine, he invites us to eat his flesh. Not only that, to drink his blood. Ganoon yung mga sumukuti yun, kung nga naman sila na siya. Number one reason was that it was primitive recipe for cannibalism. Ano saan ni cannibalism? Cannibalism is the ritualistic eating of human flesh by a human being. It was first used in some time, 1600s, no? This is 94, no? If I'm right. To eat his flesh and to drink his blood, would be a sign of primitive recipe for cannibalism. You can also talk about you can have very high respect, reverence for, or even fear of blood. To come into contact with blood will make one ritually unclean. Ritually unclean. To be the source of life, Blood should not be touched. Kung ito na sila doon sa nagang ceremonies, for example, kanang katla yung liliin ng anak ang asang inahan, hugang sa inyong mayo. Not just to us, but to us with kapaling prayers. Kasi kanato kaayo ang lupot ng nila. So we can cite some examples, no? From Luke chapter 10, verse 30 to 37, sa parabol na siya of the Good Samaritan. Kibalo mang tagadrita o gamaan, he was robbed. He was left half dead. Just then, kung nag-iagi ng pari, kita niya nagkadugo. Siya bang siya. Biyag ko sa kalimita, malibayas. Kita siya nagkadugo. Siya bang po siya. Mga tanang tangan, siya bang mga sila. Of course, they were on their way to Jerusalem to offer and to pray in the temple. Kaya gumawa niya sila, yung itabang ng katawahan na, they would touch the bleeding man with their very hands. And that would make them unfit for ritual in the temple. Ano si mga sila? Ang sabalita, magkawasiya ng mga gitutuhan ng mga pagkakitipot ng mga sadiyan ng mga gitulitwa sa templo. Tabang siya. Nanuwi siya, kitawag po siya. Nanuwi po itong mga libita, itong libita o mga pari, pero parang nila mas importante ang ilang temple worship 
ng buong offering kaysa sa pagtama ng musika tao. That's why, isipan sila. Second reason in Mark chapter 5, verse 25 to 34, diba naman tanay ni Monay siyang parabol, doon ay babae na ginitubuan, siya sa Emirates for 12 years. Huwag tulad tayo ang mundo, kung siya maayo, when she saw the Lord, she said, this is, is the time. It's either this or nothing at all. Mula nga, nakamata na pong siso, hindi si Gino si Krito, yung ikuot ang sinat si Gino. She touched the cloak of the Lord. Of course, siya naayon. Kabalo mo nga, she did not reveal herself to the crowd and to Jesus because she could have been killed, put to death by the large and disorderly crowd if they knew. Kaya naman, gidugman ka, literally impure ka, musakot ka sa karun kasi kasi para ba sa tao na ito, para ba na ito karun kayo muta? At ito pwede mag-crowd. Kaya nga naman, tingnan mo niya, atong kasikusiko, atong kauban, asim di ay, kung asim tumatik lang. Muna na ba? Same situation, no? Di sa pwede, Pag-isikusiko ang mga tao na normal kasi gilugaan man. And she was ritually unclean. Somebody, if somebody will touch her, that somebody also will be virtually, ritually unclean. Third reason up to this day, the Jews eat meat from which the blood has been previously drained. Nagitawan ko sure. K-O-S-H-E-R, kosher, which means selling or serving food ritually fit according to Jewish law. Sila mo po, mandi na sila magkaon ng mga karte na gituok ang baboy sa dihalo. Sila po yun eh. Kaya na pawa sa mga dugo, si betrayed, blood si betrayed. Mas gusto, brothers in Christ, Christ made apologies for what he said. Isa ko sila nagkagubo sa iyong statement, di ba nang pagkidiyan? Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood will have eternal life and I will raise him on the last day. He made, he made a promise. Di lamang kay, kaya sila mga akong kinabuhi, but how pa na ako nasa katagubo sa katlaw? He made a promise. Whoever is my flesh and raised my blood, remain in me and I in him. Karantiyan niya. If you eat my flesh and drink my blood, ang pabilin ko diyan ninyo, kama mo rin na ko. And he said, in the end, whoever is his bread, we live forever. We live forever. Kaya kung siya ay makatigulangan, ni kaon man, pero namatay niya po. But if you eat this bread, you will live forever. Of course, these words are not to be taken literally. Kipa ano man ta? Kano panahon kaya ba natin na dinay literal ang kila at ang sabi dili? Pero kano ni Cristo? There is to be everything literally to the letter. To eat this flesh and drink this blood, as I was about to say, it means. To simulate or to comprehend or to accept totally to our life the whole way of thinking and acting of Jesus. To eat his flesh and to drink his blood means to be like Jesus or to be another Christ, other Christus. What is the Christo? Habi niyo sa San Pablo, sa iyang pagka-converted, he said, I live, no, it is not I, but Christ who lives in me. Di na kayo buhay karo si Kristo na. Igo ako ni na Pablo, huwag ka na itong pamati tanan mo. Di ba naman tatang sa Pablo kat before his conversion? He was even sent to Damascus to kill more Christians. 
on the way he was converted. So you see, uh, yes, I live, but it's no longer I that lives, but Christ who lives in me. That is why Jesus stay continued. He will eat my flesh and raise my blood and lives in me and I in him. So, kung buhi man tanto karon, dito kay buhi tanto na ito bang kita. Buhi tanto ko ni Cristo ko tiyan ka nato. Yes, there are interesting overtones or references in Christ's words today in the Gospel. But the body and blood of Christ are not to be understood only in the context of receiving communion. Kaya balo ko na kaya nalipay ninyo karo. Dihaan na, nagibalita na, may one to can come to church. Kaya nalipay, ay, nakakalaw to give me, nakakalaw to give me. May Jesus Christo, ang binigyo. So even if there is no sacrament of communion, there is still a spiritual communion which unites us to the mystical body of the Lord. In the ancient times of the Middle Ages, katang sarang misa, people can sustain the grace in them even after weeks of no communion. Weeks. Tingnan man. Tagmang tayo sila sa ilang pagkatao. Huwag sa magsali ka sila ng kapisaw at sila ng kalawat na pinakasara sila ka ba? No. I've said this many times. Ang ba nato, magpisal kada si ba nahapit? Tingnan naman. Yes, I know the intention is to be pure as pure as possible. Pero ang bangko, doon ay malis. Ang pinakabuang, anyway, kung isang bangko next week, wala pa ay solution pa to abstain from or to avoid sinning again. Kabili mo mga confession. Okay naman ako, pinakasara ka na at lang. O na nga, mga bisal ka, save sins over and over again. Ang salalas, take on ang hiyapon. Kaya nga naman, ang saling nga. But not so in the Middle Ages, when people rarely could go to communion. They could maintain their being at grace, even when they have more frequent communion. So spiritual communion, as of now, I mean, panahon na, korpigo na, it still rises to the physical body of Christ. The Eucharist is primarily a community celebration. With the giving of giving tao, mga mga pari ninyo, na may sabi din, kami na dyan, kami na sa altar, mga matre, no, niya, ka na mag-video, mag-organ, wag kayo masanta, hindi nga way. Panalipay po ba, kami ako puro, Today, by the way, we can reach out to many people that are kind of in the light side of the page of St. Peter and Paul, Paris, or Paul. Today, by the way, we know that you are present, you are there. Perhaps not really, not physically, or many, but spiritually, you are there to support us also. So, Parnato Communion is primarily, because it's primarily a celebration of what we are as a community, or some of them brothers and sisters of Christ for ourselves and for the whole world. So, ato mga malso, dinit kay kita-kita na din rin, it's for the whole world. And we can be real brothers and sisters, by the way, of Christ, when we safeguard the health and the lives of each other, may be in the suggested rules given to us during these trying times. Kwento na, hindi na ito kung tayo kasubok ang balaon. Sa ito, black mo tayo ng estricto na manong unta. Kani ato, walay quarantine pa o quarantine pass. Kalo na, Ana. You know what is for all good? Kaya ba naman ka ka doon ay mga tindahan ng mga abrin ha? Yun sa kulay mo, ang suri ko. Muna, magpapatong mong ka. Muna nga, yun ata ni Mayo. Ano ito magpagsisok sa mga tindahan na ay quarantine pass. That's the purpose actually, I learned. 
Bis ngontang, aku kalau kau tak di hukum itu aku ni di hukum kota. Kau tak tulis tu. Nah pas sampai yo, amang aku government kau nak tahu aku tinu. Hey no, waktu sekuat itu dia ramai dia. You know what, my brothers, guys, you should never get out of your house unless there's a need, real need. Every day during the lives of other people, they help other people. And to be brothers and sisters means to safeguard also the health and lives of other people. How? How we use Ayo? We obey the suggested rules given to us these days. Obey the Buddha. Ikaw ang mag-mask, mag-mask. So dito pag itawag natin ito mga mag-bo, sige lang, mask na kaya ako. Ikaw nga, social distancing, physical distancing, sige, so obey ta. Di bang laag, kung di kailangan, okay, obey ta. You know what? All of this are for all good. Ato naman eh, hindi na hindi sa oban. Ato naman eh. Kaya what if, what if, for example, do you see mga sulod? Kasi yung dumatik pa siyo. Kaya ba kung kung tanong? Matarang tanong kita. Because we look at the other person or other people as possible COVID-19 positive case. So man, doktor ko doon mga praning. So muna, to prevent any single outbreak, is dito takarang panahon na kay Tapos pa niya na ang second way pa yan mas grabe kayo sa primero Mas grabe ang second way kayo sa primero ang Japan Very good at sure in the public of Japan Karang there has been second way Kung niya ang kagawa pag yun mas siya muling muling pun kung second way na hindi nga naman na mas immunity kayo bawal ko sa instyling yung alkaron May kitarawa is pati ang kagawa is So muna, no? We should just simply obey the rules given to us today. It is undeniably true that Christ's flesh and blood come to us through the word that we hear as well as doing the sharing, doing the sharing of the bread and the wine. So di naman kung ito na nga ang misa, ito nga parte, pulo o ikaristiya. Because in both cases, no, we share in Christ's body and blood. But Jesus also comes to us through every life experience that we have in the community. So, go ang kapitili mo na silang tanay, that's a life experience. And in that time spirit, we find the Lord. Pero go ang kapitili mo na nagbinkin, nagkawai-away, Si Dautay, si Bibi Bakay, wala niya ang love experience. So obviously, wala niya ang Diyos. So, Christ can also come to us through every love experience that we have in the community. Eucharist is not something, is something that should not be happening throughout our day. It should be something, no? Kung nakasimpa ka, Ang ipagayit sa itong ataw daw kinapuhi at ang sinimahan It should be something that should be happening throughout our day Wherever we are At home or here Or anywhere else Whatever we are doing And whatever situation we are in Sa kurusun ng panahon ng karon Kanifasi ang atong panagambitan Should be made evidence in our daily life Should be So the Eucharist makes us share in Christ's divine life, a life of self-giving to Him and to others. Because Christ invites us not just to live with Him, but more so to live in Him. Peace now. Let us pray to St. Joseph, the worker, as we pray for all our needs. And we say, multiply the fruits of our works, Lord. Multiply the fruits of our works, Lord.
that the Church may continue to proclaim the values of justice as the source of our peace. Let us pray to the Lord. That government leaders and economists may work for equitable distribution of riches and promote human dignity of all. Let us pray to the Lord. That businessmen may place their economic interest at the service of all. Let us pray to the Lord. That the poor and the unemployed may find decent means of livelihood. Let us pray to the Lord. That the faithful departed who toil in this earth, earthly life may have the recompense in the next life. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, we believe that we unite our prayers with the decision of St. Joseph the Worker. Help us to see liberty of work in our actions. We ask for this to Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, and my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the grace and glory of His name, for our good and to the Holy Holy Church. O God, Mount of all mercy, look upon our offerings, which we bring before your majesty in commemoration of Saint Joseph, and mercifully grant that the gifts we offer may become the means of protection for those who call upon you. To Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. We lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is true to God and just. We do to our salvation always and ever more to give you thanks. Go to the Father of my eternal God. And the commemoration of Saint Joseph to give you pity and praise, to glorify you and bless you. For this just man was given by you as spouse to the present Virgin Mary, the Virgin Mother of God, and set as a wise and faithful servant in charge of your household. To us over, like a father, your only begotten son, who is conceived for the by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit. Our Lord Jesus Christ, to Him the ages of praise your majesty, the means of door of power strengthened before you. Heaven and the words of heaven, bless the seraphim, worship together with salutation. With your voice we pray, join with theirs in our praise as we acclaim. Who's that? 
Together with the pastors of Bob and John Bishop and all the clergy. And may also, brothers and sisters, all follow us, leaving the hope of that resurrection, and all who died, give mercy. Welcome them into the lights of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that we preserve the Lady, Mother of God, the Saint of His house, with the houses, and Saint Peter and Paul, the Michael Angel, Saint Rock, Saint Lorenzo Saint Louis, Saint Peter and Salt, and all the saints of Jesus throughout the ages. We may merge before earth to the life and we praise and glorify you through Son Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God Almighty, Father, give to the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. We dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us their daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses. And we forgive those who trespass against us, and does not have temptation to deliver us from evil. To live us, Lord, we pray from every evil, and gracefully grant peace in our days. That's by the help of your mercy, we be always free from sin and safe from all distress. So we wait as we hope on the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. We discuss that the Apostles' peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And grace the plan of peace and unity that God us with your will. We live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with yours is the upper side of the side of peace.
Behold the Lamb of God, and behold the taste of the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. and act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. May God, who by the resurrection of His only begotten Son, was pleased to confer on you the gift of redemption and of adoption, give you gladness by His blessing together. Amen. 
May he who by his redeeming work we have received the gift of everlasting freedom may be heirs of eternal inheritance. Amen. And may you who have already risen with Christ in baptism through faith, may the living in the right manner on this earth be united with him in the whole blood of heaven. Amen. And may the blessing of the Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon upon you and remain with you forever. And as ended, let us go in peace. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. May the Lord with us. Amen. 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 Am